Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Tuesday. Today is March 8th, 20 and 22. And here we are by the grace of God. And again, we're giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Why? Because it did not have to be this way. God blessed us not only as they say, to be on the wake up list. Amen. But God has given us more than just a reasonable portion of health and of strength. And so for that, we ought to be grateful. And his mercies, they're what? They're new, brand new. How often? Every morning. Amen. So we are here. He loves you deeper and, and better than he did on yesterday. You and me both. Amen. So I'm here as I'm driving to the transit center. I pass a gas station. And it's like 535, 5, whatever, 5, whatever, you know. So, you know, of course, it gets higher as you go from regular to whatever to premium, right? And that's the cash price. So, you know, the debit or credit card prices maybe 10 cents more for each of those well i tell you i just began to first i thank god i did i thanked him that uh i didn't have a long way to go right but i honestly began to pray and my prayer was that the well first i said you know lord there are those who To pay $5 and five something, it's going to be a a stretch. You know, some folk would get $5 worth of gas and there was a time they could get quite a ways or a couple gallons at least. You know, I used to get five on eight, five on 12, a lot of mornings. But gas is starting at like $5 and 35 cents, something like that. And so I prayed that God would definitely, uh, be merciful and make a way for those uh, where it's a hardship. Now, there are many complaining about it, but they have the means to swipe a card or they have the means to go in their wallet and, you know, buy some gas. Complaining, but they can do it. But then there are those who maybe all they have is $5 and they need more than what that less just under a gallon will get them. So I began praying, Lord, Speak to the hearts of the billionaires and let the billionaires start giving away gas cards to the people. Then I thought, hmm, some might get a gas card and try to sell it. Most won't, though. Then I was like, Lord, thank you for that. For people just standing at the pump, filling gas up for other folks, you know, putting gas in their tank. Some might say, you really wasted your prayer time on that this morning. I didn't feel like it was a waste. And yes, I did. I did. I prayed and I asked God to send the billionaires or the millionaires or the thousand heirs or the hundred heirs or the ten heirs, you know, or just the regular old folk to say, you know, what? Well, let me share what I have with you. And I'm just believing God that there will be people standing at the pump filling up other folks tanks and i'm not talking about the honda people because we know they got a lot of money right but i mean people just people that they would share that which they have and you know that they be saying in church what you make happen for others god will make happen for you so you help somebody with some gas and see what god will do in your own life but i did i pray that god would just speak to the hearts of the billionaires that they would just begin to, oh, well, my train's pulling in. Y'all like, she wasted them five minutes. No, that was my prayer this morning. You know, I'm about to say, let me get out of this car and make my way over there to track number one. I got my ticket for the week on yesterday by the grace of God, because it's God who makes it possible week after week after week. Woo! And from the Metrolink station here, we're going to make our way into downtown L.A., the Union Station. From the Union Station, off the Metrolink, onto the Red Line. From the Red Line, 
hmm, I'm going to go as far as I need to go. My foot is feeling some better, but I still think I might take the dash. And then I'm going to walk inside that building. And beloved, when I enter into that building, I am going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll meet again on when, on tomorrow, from where, from my front seat. This is your girl, Sharon. And I'm out, y'all. I'm hungry this morning. I didn't eat late but I ate a lot less yesterday than I had been. Oh my goodness, I'm hungry. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.